The local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. The Dorset difference, 150,000 mile powertrain coverage and five years on brakes. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. And it is meteorological spring, March 1st. In our business, meteorology, spring is March, April, and May. Counter spring coming up here, though, in just a few weeks. And boy, it felt very spring like out there. It looks it, too, in the Graber Post Buildings Weather Camp. Some clouds up to the north, those may skirt our northeastern and northern counties, but I think a clear, to, the worst mostly clear night coming up. Here's what we're tracking a few days in the 60s over the forecast period. Dry rest of the week, storms Sunday, and then more active next week. It's possible we know it's going to cool off next week. Right now at the airport, 62, look at all that sunshine. Humidity's low at 44%. Winds are out of the west. Pressure falling from 29.98. March, rainier month in February, up to 3.52 is your average. Nothing yet, of course. Oh, we're running a surplus here of just about seven tenths, but we're going to dry off until we get to late Saturday night. So we'll probably uh, lose that surplus, but more rain on the way. The river continues to fall, and with more dry weather, that will continue to happen as well. It's just minor flooding. Lows, 37 Paris, 34 at Terre Haute, 37 at Robinson and Olney. High temps, tried to hit the 70 mark. Flora got close, 68 degrees, 67 over at Effingham, the airport at 64. We had a high of 66. Cooling now, 59 already at Paris, 62 at the airport. Washington checking in at 61. Now, watch this. We drop into the 30s tonight, but that's above normal. And then another day tomorrow, we're back into the 60s. Very nice weather, very spring-like weather. Winds coming in out of the west right now. These are wind speed averages at the airport, 7 over at Mattoon and Terre Haute. When you're this warm, you don't have a windshield to worry about. Just a nice breeze. If you're headed out tonight on the Metro View, no issues. Looks clear to mostly clear, so comfortable evening coming up. And as we approach midnight, still fairly warm, 41 for the low. Big picture, national satellite and radar. A few showers out to the Pacific Northwest. Snow moving up through New England. And a little band of showers it was close to us. You can see regionally it was up around Fort Wayne. It pushes on into Ohio, so we're rain-free. Locally on satellite and radar. Hardly a cloud to be found. Next 48 hours, well, we'll see a few clouds start to build in. And clouds are moisture, so this model says maybe some showers up to the northeast. Oh, tomorrow going into a Wednesday night, maybe one passing south. But I don't think if anything crops up, it will amount to much. These would be widely separated showers, so nothing to concern yourself with. It's the weekend, late Saturday night and Sunday. That's where we get the better chance for rain. Now, for tonight... Looks good. 32 degrees. That'll be under clear skies. And then tomorrow, another nice day. If you head out to work or school, looks really good. 64, a mostly sunny day. And this is where everything changes, the seven-day. We'll cool off with a dry cold front coming through Thursday to 45. Warm right back up. Somebody's going to see 70 on Saturday. Late Saturday, maybe after midnight, the rain arrives. Go get some thunderstorms overnight into Sunday. It departs early Monday. Then the more seasonal, cooler weather Monday and Tuesday. By Tuesday, we're back to the 40s and 30s. Here's Grant with sports.